Jamie, here we are. Another sunny day in New York City. Another sunny day, a lot of craft beer happening here at the Get Real New York City Food and Craft Beer Festival. Have you been looking forward to this event? Of course. We love beer events. I want to get away. You happy? You excited? I mean, it's a combination of food and beer. How can I not be? Some beer, I've been lifting this stuff so I know. On the back of it, it says, private cast, must call Alex and get okay. Alex, we're going to go find him and get his okay. Today is Get Real New York. It's the first uh, cask festival of this magnitude in New York City. Cask ale, it's called, it's called live ale. It is conditioned in the cask. It's packed full of flavor, and they're generally hard to come by. There's a fantastic array of cask ales that we have today. 90 will be tapped. We also have about um, almost 20 different home brews that will be on tap. Uh, we're extremely excited about it, and we'd love to celebrate cask ale. Here we go. They rock. We're here with Ben of Luke's Lobsters. Well, tell us what we got going on here. Uh, we have a main shrimp roll. It's on a New England style bun, which we just toast up real nice. A tiny bit of mayo, the shrimp in, a little lemon butter, and a little secret seasoning. That's it. Have you had beer and this together? Oh, personally, many, many, many times. times. So how does yeah. cheese go with beer? How would you say? Well, yeah, you got to just find the right chance. It's like life. It it's like, like people in love. Well, really. that's why I brought an H Gouda today. An H Gouda can be a, a powerhouse with the, with the right beer. Absolutely. Beautiful beer. You're, you're the mustard lady. I'm the mustard lady. There yeah. yeah, you are, right there. It's local made uh, mustard in Brooklyn. It's made with a six point brown stone ale. It's a spicy brown ale, mustard, real warm, cinnamony kind of. All flavors. This is beer corn. Yeah, well, we make it by hand at Ronnie Sue's Chocolates. Okay. We're located in the Essex Street Market on the Lower East Side. Very nice. Two different types of Brooklyn Brewery beer right now. We're using your IPA and the uh, Black Chocolate Stout. So we take a six pack of beer and yeah. we reduce it down to less than a cup of like a syrup. Yeah, go for it. And wow, man, that is totally unique and it's delicious. I'm the chef de partie over at the Andaz Wall Street. So what we have today is on a wheat uh, crisp, we have a shrimp cocktail with black olives, capers, beer, and food is like beer and wine now. It's the new concept. It's a great idea. Uh, well, Lagunitas brought a beer called Fusion 3 that I've never seen before. I, I think they made it just for this thing. We brought a beer called Wunderbar Pilsner. So the beer community is, is coming out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a really good thing to do. Just kick off for crap beer week. You see any favorites here? Chaffley Imperial Stout. That's going to be nice. He called it out, people. Chaffley, there it is. I mean, is, it, is this a great beer community in New York City? It's what we're trying to build, and that's the whole idea behind Get Real. Instead of doing it myself, I ran at home. What I decided to do was uh, form a committee of, of beer-loving people 
we're get ready to start of it. I think and we do big events like this more and more and more. I think it's a great way to unite the whole beer community in New York City, and I think this town's destined to be like one of the best beer towns in in America, without a doubt. Me and Chris uh, started drinking a little bit heavy one night at my apartment, and we were like, let's do a big festival. Let's call it Get Real New York. We worked our ass off for two months to get this together to get 110 firkins. 110 firkins. And uh, we got like 20 to 30 homebrews, which we're really trying to like get the homebrew community to come together and do more festivals with us. So you got the pros and you got the Joes, and like, let's see. I I I think the homebrew. I tasted all of them. They're phenomenal. We're all trying to work together to get unite our New York educated and learning learning a uh, beer. And uh, now we want to do cascades and like really blow their palates with all the food with all the beer. You're gonna love it.